And what is going on, everyone? So the All Gaming Blog here, bringing you guys Black Ops 2 gameplay, and also want to bring you guys the uh, latest gaming news as of uh, 25th June 2013. All right, let's start off by gamers' campaign to end Wii U region locking. That's right, with Microsoft reversing all of its content control policies on Xbox One, basically doing a 180, and Sony already planning a region-free PlayStation 4. Nintendo is insisting on keeping all the territories separated on Wii U. Now, fans are not taking the platform holders to task. Uh, cheered by recent efforts to appeal to Microsoft and Sony, gamers around the web hope to convince Nintendo to abandon the outdated notion that we're no longer a global market and get it to stop region locking its systems. Uh, currently, there's a Twitter campaign and an official petition. Gamers hope to reach Nintendo and end this region locking, or at least get some sort of reply of them. Is it just for the Wii U? Um, not exactly. Can also apply for the 3DS and the Nintendo consoles if they so wanted to. But the whole idea, the whole point at the moment is to get the Wii U out of region locking. That's the first step and then obviously uh, the rest of it will should follow uh, soon after. Uh, there's a link in the description where you can read more about it. You can also uh, participate into this and make a difference if you have a Wii U or a Nintendo 3DS and you'd like it to have uh, the region unlocked. Let's move on. Ouya is available today. So, uh, less than a year ago, after the highly successful Kickstarter campaign for the Ouya console came to a close, the Android-powered microconsole is now publicly available at selected retailers. The console can be purchased uh, for $99 at retailers Amazon, Best Buy, GameStop and Target in the United States. Every Oya title is a bit available to try via a free demo. The platform currently has 173 games according to the official Oya website. These include titles from Sega, Double Fine, Artright Games, uh, Robot Talkie, Polygon and Square Enix. Short after it was made available, it sold out in Amazon, both in the UK and the US. You can now buy it through a retailer or visit the official OYA website. Uh, there's a link in the description where you guys can actually purchase this. And it's available for everyone, finally. Uh, it sold out very quickly on Amazon. And that tells me that gamers do really want it. So if you guys want one, grab one because I don't think the stock is going to last for much longer until they actually make more because there, there's a really really high demand for uh, Oya console at the moment and I think it's fantastic I think it's great to see that uh, people do want this console and that you know it's being such a commercial success so far let's hope it keeps it up and let's hope we get many uh, free games which is obviously what the console is all about anyway moving on Steam introduces virtual trading card system Steam trading cards move out of beta on Wednesday 26th of June, aka tomorrow. Valve has introduced a new game of sorts within its own Steam Distribution Services UI. Sadly, it's not Half-Life it, it, half 3, but rather a trading card system in which players earn virtual cards for playing games, which can then be used to build sets and redeem rewards such as game badges. Profile backgrounds, emoticons, coupons, and a lot more. Think of it like achievements, only with more tangible benefits, and you can trade them around. The new trading card service has just entered its beta, and there are currently cards available for Don't Starve, Counter Strike Goal Offensive, Dream Fortress 2, Portal 2, and Half Life 2. But support for more games will be added in time, and obviously, new games will also already come with support for this. Half the cards for any particular title can be uh, accrued through gameplay, while the rest will require trading with the community, encouraging players to chat with one another. So this kind of uh, brings a whole new level for achievements and unlocks, and it also kind of introduces you to um, communicate more, I suppose, be more social. So if you're a forever alone type of guy, I don't think this is going to be much for you. I don't think I particularly care about them, to be quite honest, but it's nice to see that Steam finally has uh, some... They, they kind of evolved with the uh, the achievements uh, of this. Alright, let's move on to the last news I have here for you guys, which is Saints Road 4 has been 
banned in Australia. So the next installment in the Reverence open world game was denied classification rating in Australia because of implied sexual violence and drug use. So Saints Row 4 has become the first game to be refused classification in Australia since the introduction of the R18 plus adult rating on January 1st this year. According to a statement issued today by the Australian Classification Board's acting director Donald McDonald, and I kid you not, that's the dude's name, the game was refused the maximum R18 plus rating for games due to its implied sexual violence and drug use related to player incentive. In the board's opinion, Saints Row 4 includes interactive visual depictions of implied sexual violence, which are not justified by context, the statement said. In addition, the game includes elemental of illicit or prescribed drugs uh, used related to incentives or rewards, such as depictions are prohibited by the computer game's guidelines. To date, 17 games have been successfully granted the R18 Plus rating, including Ninja Gaiden 3, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition and Army of Two The Dallas Cartel. The refused classification status of Saints Row 4 now effectively bans it from sale nationally. Sadly enough, I don't think Australians are going to see Saints Row 4 because the publishers don't give two craps about the, the refusal of this stupid and ridiculous uh, rating system. So I don't think it's going to change. Either the rating system changes and the Australians do something about it or the game is not going to be available in Australia. I don't think the, the game developers are going to change the game that much that, uh, you know, they're going to do a theoretical change that just to put it on Australia. It's not even that big of a market anyways. Guys, this is all the news I have for you. I hope you enjoyed my video and I hope you enjoyed this news. If you have, please do leave me a like button. Uh, give, give it a like and thanks for watching.